Auxiliary Coordinate Systems How would you create a 2D drawing plane in 3D space? This is accomplished using the Auxiliary Coordinate or ACS tools. The new plane permits you to draw a 2D shape then apply one of the 3D techniques to create 3D geometry. In this topic you will learn how to create a named ACS how to create a global ACS at the 0, 0, 0 origin. Learn how to lock an ACS and learn how standard orthographic views work with a locked ACS. Auxiliary coordinate systems in ACS is useful in placing elements on planes that have a different depth or orientation. In this section you will create a new ACS and draw 2D elements on the plane. Open the design file 06-acsplanes.dgn. The objective in this exercise is to create an ACS on the indicated plane in your workbook which is this plane right here. To do this we need to open the tools which are under drawing aids and I'll open the dialog. Some ACS's such as front side and top may already be created. We want to create an ACS on this plane here. There are various tools. Define ACS aligned with element. That tool is also in the ribbon. After you select the tool simply go place it on that face and the ACS will appear. If you look now it has no name but here is the coordinate values. If we give it a name we'll call this angled plane. You see it turns green that is the active auxiliary coordinate or ACS. I'll refer to ACS in the rest of this video. Let's create one more. Select define an ACS. We'll go over to this plane and define an ACS there. Give it a name. Call it angled plane 2. You can also lock the ACS plane. This will force all X, Y, and Z coordinates to be relative to the active ACS, such as angled plane 2. Navigate to the locks ribbon under drawing aids and lock the ACS. If you hold your cursor at any time over the tool, it'll show you that the lock is on. Now when we go to view to our standard views such as top view you look head on to that new ACS. If I go to front view the ACS is up here. I'm looking at the front view of the ACS. Right view there it is. That is the ACS. Right isometric view. Here is the plane called angled plane 2. Let's draw a circle on this particular plane by going to home, picking a circle, and selecting anywhere on the plane. I'll draw the circle here let's change its color. Notice how when I move the circle it is flat on the plane. So if I go through the views top view, front view, right view or right isometric 
you'll see the circles drawn on the active plane because the plane is number one the plane is locked and number two because it's locked that's why the views change if I shut off the lock and with the lock off and go to view and go to top things will reverse back to the original plane even though this plane is active when I go from top to front to right to right isometric the plane resorts to the global ACS let's take a look at that when I open the ACS dialog you see the name planes we created the green here indicating it is the active ACS but there is a global plane it does not have a name here let's create one and I'll call it global we'll call it global origin if I right click on that say reset to global global origin is now at the zero 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 point I double click it it is now the active ACS and when we look at our drawing you'll see the global ACS so that when you view or change views top front right right isometric it's based on this ACS the global ACS another way to activate ACS is, is to again go back and open the dialog we'll open the dialog and in there you'll see a tool called select ACS click on it and all the ACS's you have created will display if you click on one it now becomes the active ACS although it is not necessarily locked unless you leave the lock on which you can do the lock is now on look at another one turn on the angled plane the first one we created that's the ACS it is locked so if I go to view top front right side this is the the first ACS we created right isometric and let's pick the midpoint here and just create a 2d block on this one doesn't matter what geometry you create then we'll use our rotate tool we'll come up pick a point we want to rotate about and there you'll see the block on the angled plane we just created and the circle on the other ACS which was angled plane 2 so that's how you draw on any plane that you can create in three-dimensional space take some time here to create different ACS and draw 2D shapes using various tools, smart line, or any particular shape, circle, square, and so forth. Get comfortable with drawing on different angled planes. In the next section, we'll learn to use AccuDraw tools with 3D geometry. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.